So the Stampede shock shaft is bent. It's not really that bad, so you might think that I don't really have to replace it, but it has gotten pretty annoying. Whenever it compresses, it kind of gets stuck like that, and that has been really annoying to my brother, because it's his car. So he got some new ones, part number 1664, and I'm going to put them on there. And I'm also just going to talk to you about the shop and show you more about it. You can get a hardened steel version of these, but my hobby shop didn't have them. Let's go ahead and take the shock off. There we go, it's off. So first, I've got to take this bottom piece off. I just have to push this up, and then there's a little crack right there that it'll go back and fall out. And then I can pull the spring off, and you might have some spacers on this. I don't right now, but there is this piece. And now, I'm gonna take the cap off. And it's not super easy taking it off. First, I just gotta stick something in this right here. Doesn't really matter what, as long as it fits. And then I could just take this wrench right here so that I could get a good grip on the shock and then take the cap off by turning it. You just start off a little bit with this and then it'll get easier and you can take it off with your hand. And there we go, it's off. And you could see the shock oil in there. So actually I'm gonna put this back on just lightly for a second. And all this oil is coming out right now. I'm going to try to do it like this. Alright, there we go. I got it off. And now I could pull this off. And then I could pull the cap off. And I should be able to push this up. Oh dang, this is going to be harder since it's bent. I'm going to go ahead and try to hammer it off camera. Alright, there we go. It's straight again. And you might be thinking, if you could just hammer it back into place, why do you need to replace it? Well, I don't exactly. It's fine if you just hammer it back in place, but it kind of just makes it weaker. And I'm just going to replace it anyway. I pretty much lost all the shock oil in here. There we go. I got it out. And now it looks like I have to take these little pins off. And there's actually one on the other side too. Guys, I just got this off and it just flew somewhere. But I was able to find it. So now I could take this black piece off. And I've got one more to take off right there. There we go. Old one is all out. Now let's put the pieces on the new one. There we go. So let's put this back in there and start putting it back together. Now once I have that stuff on, I'm not actually done yet because I still need to fill up this with all that oil that I just spilled. But I have some, so I'm going to go ahead and fill it up. So I have to fill it up just about there and start pushing the piston up a couple times so that I don't have any air bubbles in there. And now I just have to let it sit a little bit, but it has to be sitting upright. In my case, I'm just going to rest it against the tripod that the camera's on right now. Alright, we're good now. Let's go ahead and finish it up. You gotta make sure this cap is as tight as possible. If some of the oil starts coming out, that's alright. There we go guys, the shock's all fixed. And now I've got to put the shock back on the car. And it's fixed! Guys, thanks for watching the whole video. I hope you learned something about this shock. And if you want more how-to videos with RC cars and more action videos, make sure you guys subscribe. And leave a like if you like the video. See you in the next video. Bye!